So some of you are wondering if there are any performance differences between Ableton Live 12 and 11 on Apple Silicon hardware. The short answer, at least what I have seen is no, I don't see any raw performance differences between these two. And uh, I haven't done a lot of testing, so I might be wrong, but uh, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I have done some testing on my channel with uh, Apple laptops, PCs, performance in Ableton Live and yeah, things like that. You have a download link under the description here where you can download the project uh, that I have been testing. It's been using uh, Diva and uh, the Serum Synthesizer. So what I did was I used Ableton Live 11. I loaded up this project that I have linked below and I turned on Warn on CPU overload in the top right corner in Ableton Live where you have the audio buffer CPU meter. So when the audio buffer overloads, it will say CPU, it will just light up uh, bes besides the percentage uh, uh, meter there. I opened it up on Ableton Live 12 and I managed to run, I think it was 134 tracks without getting any uh, CPU warnings. I did the same in Ableton Live 11 and I got 134 tracks without any CPU warning. Ableton Live was set up the same of course, 44.1 kilohertz audio and the buffer size was the same between the two, uh, Ableton Live 11 and 12. If not, the test wouldn't be valid. So this is just a test I did and my results are then saying that there are no performance differences between those versions, at least in this test. What results you get with other tests, other plugins, other software. I can talk much about that, but you know, there's a lot of different VSTs out there. You have audio unit version two, you have audio unit version uh, three, you have VST two, you have VST three, and now you also have clap. So you have a lot of different types of software plugins, a lot of t libraries. So there's a lot of uh, variables to affect the performance. And you know, you're actually running these plugins through Ableton Live. So Ableton Live is hosting them and uh, yeah, it can it, things can happen. But I've also seen on the official forum for Ableton Live 12, the site admin there is saying that Ableton Live is of course ready for Apple Silicon computers. It's not running through Rosetta or emulation. So Ableton Live is ready for Apple, uh, Apple the new Apple computers. But the difference between Live 12 and Live 11 is more or less the same in terms of CPU usage. And this is written by the site admin on uh, the Ableton uh, forum uh, as well. I have also checked on Reddit. A lot of people are mentioning that Ableton Live 12 feels a little bit better. Feels like the interface uh, is a bit more fluid. The application starts faster. And uh, one guy is actually saying here in some thread that uh, his uh, old project in Ableton Live was using 15% of the CPU and the new project in Ableton Live 12 is using 5%. So, but uh, you know, the general consensus on the new version is that it's more stable. It's more fluid to work with interface wise. The raw performance, I'm not sure if that is something that is better, but uh, what I have seen here is that uh, it looks like the raw performance at least is the same. Personally, I use Ableton Live 12. I use it on my uh, M3 Max MacBook Pro and it's been uh, working uh, without any issues. I don't use a lot of unknown plugins or archaic old plugins, so most of the things I do work just fine. Short video about performance. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and see you in the next one. Goodbye.